South Africa's leg of the global effort to find an effective treatment for COVID-19 looks like it will get off the ground soon. Four months ago, the World Health Organization announced the start of the Solidarity Trial. Its goal is to identify effective treatments for the disease using readily available medicines like those used to treat malaria and HIV. And as the WHO prepares to announce some of the results of trials in other countries, here at home, the first patients are expected to start being enrolled for the trial tomorrow. Well, let's give you an update then uh, by ENCA's Barry Bateman, who joins us uh, on that particular story. So, Barry, important to have clarity, I suppose, that we are talking here about um, this, these trials that have to do with readily available medicines, quite apart from the Oxford vaccine um, a, a, that, that's being championed and, and being led, uh, the South African leg being led by uh, the academics at Vets University, is it? Yeah, quite right. A very different trial. Um, it's the same group of academics uh, that are involved, uh, very uh, knowledgeable people in this field, uh, and to do with research and the trials like this. But what this relates to is uh, drugs such as remdesivir, which is an antiretroviral, which is used in the treatment of HIV. Uh, one of the drugs that was part of the trial but is no longer part of the trial, you've heard this name before, hydroxychloroquine. Now, that's used in the treatment of malaria. It was being tested to uh, treat um, uh, COVID. COVID-19, but already earlier this month, as part of the solidarity trial, it was established that it doesn't contribute or it doesn't shorten or assist uh, patients hospitalized with COVID-19. Therefore, it was found they would no longer test that. So they're going to be continuing with the other drugs as part of the trial. And that's what's getting underway, uh, hopefully in starting to enroll those patients tomorrow. I spoke to Dr. Dr. Jeremy Nell, uh, who's the principal uh, investigator. Um, a researcher, rather, uh, he was telling me this morning that they, they finally got that last approval last night, and as soon as tomorrow, they'll start enrolling those patients. So you mentioned remdesivir, you mentioned, um, uh, well, hydroxychloroquine is out, uh, but dexamethasone, uh, is that part of the mix? And, and what exactly do they do, Barry, uh, with these medicines? Well, dexamethasone uh, is that uh, steroid that has already been established to be effective in reducing uh, the, I think it's the treatment of patients or reducing it by a third, uh, the fatalities, at, as, as I understand it, in patients who have been intubated or on ventilators. Um, so that has already been established. So that's not part of this trial. Remdesivir, and there's another drug, uh, the, the name uh, eludes me right now, but it's also an antiretroviral. That's what will form part of the, what the South African uh, researchers will be initiating initiating here. So the way I understand it will work is um, any person admitted to one of the sites where the trial is taking place is eligible to be enrolled as uh, a part of this program. They will then be randomly allocated to one of three arms. The one is your standard of care where you will receive just the normal care that uh, the patients are getting at the moment in hospitals for COVID-19. The other is to be uh, or being treated with remdesivir and the other, the third uh, arm is to be treated with this other uh, medication that I've been referring to. Um, it's based on those that the researchers will study the data to see if there's any um, uh, improvement in the treatment or the health of the patients over that particular period. Uh, and uh, we're hoping if it goes well in weeks, but probably more like months before we'll start getting any uh, results coming out of this. All right, that's ENCA's Barry Bateman keeping us updated there on some of the work being done on the medical front to try and respond to COVID-19. That uh, particular leg, the South African leg of those trials getting underway as early as tomorrow.